What's up guys, my name is JD Cook 5 and welcome back to another episode of the Levante career mode. We go straight in with a simulation against Real Valencia. We do get a 3-0 win there and we have Firmino on the score sheet twice and then we have Afif getting the one goal. Solid start to the episode and nice to get a 3-0 win. We have a little message here to say Primo has agreed to be able to join Coventry on a short term loan so that will be 6 months from when the January transfer window opens. Doing so, obviously I'll only be left with one keeper, so I want a backup choice and I've decided to go acquire the free agent Tom Heaton. He has a lot of experience in the game itself and he's been around for a long time. Being 37, obviously he's going to have a lot of experience and that might help us out a little bit when it comes to getting the more fixtures, maybe possibly next year and onwards, depending if we keep him on. 15 grand a week and just a rotation role, but I don't feel like he'll be on the pitch as much. We do simulate another game against Usana. We just get a 1-0 win with Otamendi getting on the score sheet this time round. Glad we can just get wins when it comes to simulation. We seem to be quite lucky in regards to that. So it was nice to be able to gain six points from two games. You see, we get a manager offer to be able to manage Real Sociedad. Obviously, this career mode is solely about Levante, so I am not interested whatsoever. We do get manager of the month also, so I think they might be looking at us and see what we're doing at Levante and kind of going from there. I wasn't really interested whatsoever being the kind of career mode that we wanted to do. And we will go from here and hopefully we can build on better things. The next game we do have is against Real Madrid. Obviously, this would probably be the biggest game that we do have. I know we come up against Atletico. But I think from now, I think this is the biggest game that we have played. A lot of preparation going into this and kind of a lot of determination that we need also to be able to beat this sort of side. Being able to compete in this league, we need to be beating these sort of teams just to be able to kind of be up there and be above and beyond. They have a breadth of defence compared to anyone in the league. 15 goals against them compared to what we have but we are the highest scoring team in the league with 35 goals scored in 15 games so a bit of a contrast in records there so they're the best defence but we're the best attackers so you never know it might turn out in our favour. A snowy Bernabeu this time round being in December we side the lineup of Danny Caderas in goal as always. We have Garrado, Conti, Aoyamik, Williams as your back four. As your midfield three we have Hamsik, Shirky and Peplu. And in your front three, we do have Asawaku, Firmino and Nusa. Real Madrid start the game really well, being in these treacherous conditions. A nice bit of play there between them and Benzema nearly finds the back of the net. A nice save from Cadieres and he had to be on his toes for that one. In the 22nd minute, Firmino goes on a nice bit of run here and his skills were completely unreal. He completely chops his man and all he has to do is put it in the back of the net. But unfortunately, Courtois does save. Bit of a strange angle, but to get there, that was unbelievable skill from Firmino and I didn't expect that from him. In the 28th minute there, Valverde's on the ball. He gets it to Benzema, he finds Vinicius Jr. and unfortunately Vinicius Jr. finds the back of the net. Really well worked goal from them being able to pass it inwards to the box and unfortunately they do get at the near post. Going into the second half again, they were the same. We had nice clearance from Al Yamik there. If that went across, they would have scored. We tried to make some changes coming in the second half because I don't feel like we played as well in the first. Changing it up there just with the attacking Grant and De Frutos come on and we want to change the midfield also. So yeah, just, just change it up, freshen up new ideas and kind of going from there. In the 57th minute they do have a free kick but we were able to clear there. Nice clearance from us and Cherky is able to get on the ball from the clearance and he muscles off Camavinga and he just paces it past. He can still Grant there and Grant is completely in space. He's unmarked. He's got a score. He has to score. Of course he scores. He's back and better than ever. Haven't used Grant whatsoever this year and to be honest coming in the side like that that is a big statement to make getting a goal against Real Madrid. Didn't think he'd be able to compete in the Liga as much as what he did previously in the second division. But yeah, he seems to be doing well. Really nice ball there, but it was really nice, well, well worked to be able to get into space. In the 63rd minute, Valverde gets onto the ball, but we do intercept with Conti. Shirky is able to get the ball from that and pass it back onto Grant. And Grant finds even more space, completely unmarked. He slots it in the back of the net to put us 2-1 up. That is such an impact sub, it's unbelievable. Firmino didn't have any sort of impact whatsoever, but soon Grant goes on the pitch to just the yeah, A completely changes the game 
different kind of attributes to be able to bring to the game and I'm so glad I bring him on. They do pressure us though and we do have a lot of chances that we had to kind of defend here. Alaba nearly comes close with Cagneras being able to pull out all the stops to be able to save that one. Acrobatic saves in the end from him, it's unbelievable. We do make a substitution late on though, we do bring on Scott for Cherky just to freshen up that attacking bit. In the 71st minute though, we do have to make a clearance with Al Yamik. Vinicius Jr. was causing us all sorts of problems this game and all I had to do was keep clearing it and just hoping I could defend it. In the 89th minute there, we do play it out from the back and Defrutos is able to find Scott. Scott runs a little bit and he finds Grant and Grant is complete unmarked again. I don't know what they were doing and he's actually got his hat-trick. An unbelievable impact substitution and probably one of the best today in all honesty. Never expected him to score a hat-trick coming off the bench and he single-handedly won us the game. Unbelievable performance from him, really solid goals, really well taken and I do believe that's three shots, three goals so the conversion rate as well is absolutely unbelievable and he's able to pick up the match ball to be able to say that it's his and that is his hat-trick for the game. Really, really good three points and this is a big statement in the league. Being able to beat a side like Real Madrid and going on from here will be a big kind of movement for us and hopefully we can build on that to better things. Obviously, if we do lose the next game or anything like that, then obviously this kind of game doesn't matter as much. We need to build on to even the smaller teams we need to be beating. A nice praise from the manager to Grant here just to be able to say that, yeah, well done. That completely changed the game. Fair enough. And yeah, just unbelievable performance in the end. Really well worked and a good strategy to be able to bring him on so early to be able to affect the game the way he did. Going into the next game, we come up against Real Betis, a really strong side and someone that we played in the cup previously. We do get a 2-0 victory from beforehand, so we'll see what we do here. The lineup will be Danny Caderas in goal, and then our back four will be the lineup of Garrado, Conti, Kalasnitz coming in from Al Yamik, and Sriracha coming in for Williams. Midfield three being Vargas, Scott, and Peplu. Peplu keeps his place in the side with Scott coming in and also Vargas. And then Afif Grant gets his place, and Defrutos also gets a start. Really strong start from Betis, a really quick one as well to be honest. They get the ball quite early on and they're able to put a few passes in the edge of the box. Nice save from Canieras and he had to make sure that his post was covered. In the seventh minute though from the corner that from what he saved originally from that shot, they do get it into the box and Sriracha completely mistimes it and just takes his man out with the ball unfortunately. No attempt for the ball whatsoever being made and yes it was a penalty as much as hard that is, that is hard to admit. Obviously, there's not much we can do. It's a 50-50 chance. We are decent with saving penalty with Danny Caderas, but unfortunately, this time round, he does convert it. Really solid goal. He puts him the wrong way, and yeah, good penalty. He gave the keeper the eyes and just completely sent him the wrong way, and that is them 1-0 up. And they were really strong in this game, to be honest, passing the ball about, but I was able to catch them out in the 18th minute with Scott being able to intercept the ball there. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper, I thought he was going to bury it, but unfortunately the keeper makes a massive save from them and I get it nice and clear from them. In the 32nd minute, they keep coming at me with waves of chances, but I do get a lucky break near to the end of the first half. A fifth makes a blazing run, switching sides on the right hand there. He cuts across the defenders and slots it in the back of the net to put us 1-1 going into the second half. Really important goal from a fifth and it kind of stands us in better stead going into the second half. A real poor performance in the first in all honesty and a lot of chances wasted so I'm glad he was able to take that. We don't start the second half any better in all honesty and Paulinho is able to smash the back of the net to put us two, put them 2-1 up. Sorry. Really poor chances that we've been conceding in all honesty and something that we could have really stopped. Didn't take us too long though to be able to get in with Grant and Grant makes his mark once again to be able to put it in the back of the net to get it to 2-2. Really strong statement from Grant having the hat-trick from previous game and then obviously scoring this game also. Just makes me wonder if he is worthy of a start. We do make some substitutions not long after the goal just to freshen it up. Scott comes off for Cherokee, some wasted chances from him. Bakari comes on for De Frutos with him not making much impact and Hamsik coming on for Vargas. Again we do make another change there just to change it up with Peplu also coming off. We do get another goal from Betis and it just it was so annoying. Every time we scored, they scored and it was just so on, but we couldn't stop the wave attacks. Really poor goal in honesty and the passes just went straight through us. I didn't really know what was coming. But as soon as they get into the ball on that sort of area, they just score. That was it for the rest of the game. We do lose 3-2 and it's a real disappointing performance in all honesty. Not being able to get some sort of result against them after beating Real Madrid was really poor and unfortunately we don't get all the three points. I was hoping to maybe get 
get an equaliser to the end, but it wasn't to be. We had to be strong because our next game was against Barcelona. We side the lineup of Danny Caderas in goal. We have Aaron at left back with Conti, Al Yamik, and Williams coming in for Sriracha. Our midfield three will be Hamsik, Cherky, and Peplu. Peplu keeps his place as always. And then Iswaku, Firmino, and Nusa being your front three. Strong lineup from us and the strongest that I felt that we could do at the time. Unfortunately, we did not start well whatsoever and Ferran Torres was causing us all sorts of problems this game. Four minutes into the game, he already makes his mark and a really strong goal from them. But in the 10th minute, Firmino finds Nusa after being taken out there. Nusa is free on goal. All he's got to do is put it in the back of the net and he smashes the back of the net to put us 1-1 inside 11 minutes. Really solid goal from us and a good opportunity taken. Nice to be able to get the goal there and get back into the game straight after they was get an early goal. This game was completely action-packed though and honestly the goals kept on coming. In the 24th minute I thought Peplu was able to convert there but De Stega makes himself big and I don't feel like we didn't really chance him as much. In the 25th minute though we do get the corner and they was able to get it out but not as far as Cherky. Cherky picks up Hamsik and Hamsik slots it in the back of the net to put us 2-1 up inside 26 minutes. Really solid goal from Hamsik and it's really nice he was able to get on the score sheet. He's definitely rolling back the years here and it's a shame that he's retiring at the end of the season in all honesty because I feel like he's been really useful this season. After going 2-1 up, Barcelona piled on the pressure and Dani Caderas had to be on his best game because he had to get pulling out the stops, comes really well out here and gets the save even having to go down and then going back up. They kept getting chance after chance and it wasn't going to be long until they scored and unfortunately in the 41st minute Ferran Torres is found again and he gets his second of the game. Really important goal for them and they get straight back into the game just before the second half. In the second half, they do start even better than us though, and Ferran Torres, I hate saying his name because he just kept haunting me, honestly. I couldn't stop him. He was everywhere. He was quick. He was agile. He was so solid on the ball, and being able to score the way he did, yeah, just I couldn't stop him, and that was it. He just kept scoring against me. After that goal, we do make some changes to be able to freshen up the side and get a few new ideas in. Montiel makes a rare appearance and comes on for Cherokee, which had a really poor game in my opinion. Just wanted to freshen up the midfield and I'm glad I did in all honesty because in the 57th minute, Esawaku gets on the ball there. He passes a nice ball to Montiel who is able to get a load of space. All he's got to do is put it in the back of the net and so he does. Really well worked from us and a really nice goal to be able to get for Montiel. Obviously we haven't seen much of him this season and signing late on in the deadline day and then obviously not using him as much. Really well composed from him and that gets the equaliser to get us straight back into the game with plenty of time left. In the 59th minute we do get another chance here. Nusa picks out Montiel who picks out Firmino and Firmino puts it onto the post but it goes straight back in the net. Really well worked goal and a nice pass between the three attackers. Nice link up play and Firmino puts it just literally on the edge of the post but luckily for us it goes in the back of the net. Really well worked and a nice run for Firmino. He gets into that gap between the two defenders and there is no chance they're stopping that. In his 64th minute though they just come back at us. It's so annoying. De Jong picks out basically. I think he's picked out by a nice pass by Lewandowski and he's unmarked and everything and unfortunately we do not pick up the ball and he does score. Not long after they scored Ferran Torres, yep, yeah, Ferran Torres, I'm saying it again. He scored four goals against us. Bearing in mind they only scored five in this whole total game at the moment. They, he has scored four of them. Unbelievable performance from him. I tried to make some late substitutions with Grant coming on for Firmino just to see if it make any sort of impact. Luckily, it wasn't him that was making the impact, but it was someone else. He does actually chase down a ball and he kind of rushes to Stegen's clearance here. He's not comfortable whatsoever. We're able to pick up the ball with an Isawaku header. Vargas gets onto the ball and he finds out Montiel. Montiel to score. Does he score? Of course he scores. Unbelievable. What a kind of impact substitution again that is made from us. Really important goal from us and that does solidify the points making it 5-5 overall. So that's 18 games played now. We have won 12, we have drawn 3 and we have lost 3. Obviously looking at the table we are 3 points off of top and 1 point off of second. We have Real Madrid that are far behind us to be honest so it's only about the top 3 at the moment. Solid performances in the episode, obviously we did get a loss against Real Betis but we do win a majority of our games winning 3. Yeah, three, one, one 3, lost 1, draw 1, so not bad overall and hopefully we can build on that to be even better. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, please like and subscribe for more content just like this one and don't forget to hit the notification button for when I do release another video. Cheers. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.